If you are saying amen, you say better amen. amen. Before you take your seat, you are going to pray. Any altar raised up against my life, my career, my destiny, my family, by the fire and the blood, let that altar crash. By the fire and the blood, let it consume the person that set it up. It is written, surely they shall gather. Don't, play, don't pray with this prayer. It came as an impression. Any altar raised up against me round about. Any altar raised up to cry out against me. My destiny raised up to cry out against the plan and purpose of God for my life. Raised up to cry out against my family. By the blood and by fire. Let that altar catch fire. Let the altar scatter. ransom for you. The evil they have marked you out for, let them be victims of that wicked plan. I withdraw your name, I replace their name by fire. I withdraw your name, I replace their name by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. The same order they hired, will be the same altar that we kill them. Yes. Will be the same altar that we go against their own family. Yes. So shall it be. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Congratulations. God bless you. Sit down. Whoever the person is that was marked out, 
Before Sunday, you hear testimony. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. Receiving the miracle of instant healing, part four. Every healing that must take place must be on the platform of faith. Understanding faith is your task. If you don't understand it, your misery continues. Faith is a spiritual mystery. And when you understand it, it gives you access to every blessing God has ordained for you. If healing must take place for you, then your faith must be ignited to receive the impartation. Faith is an impartation. My faith can impact you to receive your breakthrough. My faith can ignite your confidence. My faith can damage your hopelessness. And make you hopeful for what God has appointed for you. And that is why in every platform where faith is operated, it is easy for miracles to take place. In Luke chapter 5 and verse 17, scripture says, as Jesus began to teach, to preach, the power of God was present to heal. Likewise now, the same power is present. But someone's faith must be ignited to receive the transfer of the healing power. The healing power of God comes like an impartation. And that's why when you understand an impartation, you don't need a touch physically, but there is a transmission. There is a transference. Because impartation is the spiritual transference of the healing power of God. For everyone that desires the healing touch of God. I won't forget that sister's testimony last year. We have operation, no more sickness. She and the baby were sitting at the overflow, not even inside. They've gone for skin grafting three times. They were preparing to go for the fourth one. But by faith, she knew that today was her day. And as she believed it, the hand of God said to the matter. My prayer for someone today, God will say to your matter. Yeah. Hear me? You can be standing for someone and it will still work. Yes. The centurion said unto Jesus, I am a man under authority. I said to one, go and he go. And to another, come and he come. Speak the word. And my servant shall be healed. Spiritual words carry spiritual authority that cannot be resisted, that cannot be stopped. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish and prosper. So as he spake the word, Jesus said, I have not seen one with such great faith in Israel. Say, go, thy servant is made whole. And scripture said, that same same hour, the servant was made whole. Another awesome testimony happened two Sundays ago. One of our brother, the father was right there in the hospital. Already getting prepared for surgery. 
And he was standing, believing God that something will happen. And as he was believing, oh, that healing is a mystery, man. It's a mystery. That's why faith is a mystery. It's a mystery. Hear me? It is beyond human interpretation. They say Paul's gathered around the liver. The same doctors that examined the x-ray. When they did the, the one before the operation, they couldn't see it. They say, what happened? Were you not there? He said, yes, I was there. Were you not there? Say, I was there. Hear me? The power of God can clear anything. My prayer for you is that whatever is standing as a discomfort, whatever is around you like a disease, the power of God will burn it off. Just as physical fire is in the natural, that is how the world generates spiritual fire. Physical fire can burn you and burn you well. Likewise, spiritual fire, when it is set to burn, it burns without reservation. It's not my word like fire and like hammer that breaks the rocks into pieces. So every time the word is going forth, it goes as an impartation. Clearing off every obstruction. Hear me? When you are imparted, it comes with a spiritual heavy weight. Why? It's coming from the Lord. The impartation of the Spirit, channeled by the Word, comes with a deposit of healing. A transference of virtue. Guaranteeing you your desired change. So anything can be used as an impartation. Are you what I'm saying now? Anything can be used. The cloth can be used. The picture can be used. I remember one testimony that happened in Worry. That was in 2009. One man had brain tumor. And they were scared of the surgery. They've tried as much as they could to see Papa, but because of his tight schedule, it was not possible. So they went and met God's servant, Pastor Jeremy. He prayed for them. So he said, if you, if you can't see Papa, see the picture. If you can't see Papa, see the picture. By faith. Say with me, by faith. By faith. Any name you like, call it. Mm. You know, some people... People that lack spiritual understanding, mumu, they call it worship of man. Hear me, whether you like it or not, man is God to man. Whether you like call it worship of man, no, is your business. But my understanding is, for you to be raised, there must be a man that must be connected. By faith, they went and placed the man's picture. Face to face with Papa. Mysteriously. Mysteriously. Two more. Two more. Brain two more. Disappear. That one gave the church another push. Come and see multitude. Why? Faith connection. faith connection. Because God saw their faith, they had no choice than to release the grace. Now, even the, the grave of Elijah raised the dead. So, what would you call that one? Worship of man? What would you call it? Worship of grave. Are you, are you seeing trouble? Now, it's not that um, uh, it was calculated. Are you wrong saying now? They were running for trouble and all of a sudden it was even a dead man. Are you wrong saying now? Now, suddenly, 
the body just fell. Power. Say with me, power. Jack him back. If thou canst believe, thou shalt see. Your trouble is that you are filled with too many thoughts. And you believe the too many thoughts. And that is why God's grace and God's power is limited in flow. If thou canst believe, thou shall see. The word carries spiritual authority. Anything can catch the word. Mantle can catch the word. Cloth can catch the word. Chair can catch the word. Form can catch the word. I share with us the testimony of a man who had grade 4. Is he step 4 or grade 4 cancer? He went and lay on the bed where Apostle Suleiman has been speaking in tongues for over 20 hours. After he laid on that bed, the bed has catch spiritual fire. As he laid on the bed, that was hiding, teared cancer away. He came as a visitor. When he wanted to go, he wanted to carry another person foam. They told him no. He said he will buy and replace it. Why? It is on this foam that power met him. So, impartation manifests in diversities. But your belief via your faith must be in place. So there is nothing that you are confronted with now that God cannot heal. Are you what I'm saying now? If you over magnify it, it will form a stronghold for you. But if you believe God, say with me, believe God. If you believe God. Let me shock us. No one of us here, including me talking to you, has a grown believing God. Your problem is that you think you are too matured. That's why you are getting ruptured. You think you are too mature to believe God. You never jam something. Every day, there must be something more you be doing to increase your belief. Your belief system is as your breathing system. What breathing is to live in that is what believing is to destiny. That is what believing is to health. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. God's hand is not reduced in manifestation, but our belief has limited his activation. If thou canst believe, thou shalt see thou shall see. Do you know that even as a pastor, we believe God for higher level of grace for new things to take place. It doesn't just come by, I will get there. Uh, by next year, I will get there. You won't get there. Okay, in the next two, three years, I will get there. In fact, you will become grandpapa. I hear what I'm saying now. You will be counting year of entry with no results. If thou canst believe, how much more you, anything you desire, including healing, you must step up your faith. You must step up your faith. The woman with the issue of blood said, if only I could touch. I heard his coming. He's passing through Zaramaganda. He's passing through Refit. If only I could touch. One woman heard that Papa was coming to Syria alone. No, to Ghana. Yes, it's Ghana. That I don't need him to touch me. Let me just hear his voice. Mm. 
let me just do what? Hear his voice. If I can hear his voice, the child was in coma. She just brought the child, not that she was looking for a front seat or looking for a good place to sit. She sat at the back door. The hour is come when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and them that hear it shall live. Without Papa knowing as he climbed the altar, is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is the heart of my people not delivered? He said, everyone under the sound of my voice, the healing power of God is touching you. The child sneezed. <laughs> Before you know what's happening, he began to move the body. The mother carried the child and ran like a mad woman. Hear me? You can sit in the overflow and God is seeing your heart. So it's not in the front seat. It can take place anywhere. I, the Lord, search at the heart and I examine the ray to reward every man according to his deed, according to his expectation, according to his desires. So faith is a necessary condition that can alter any situation. Before faith can change your situation, it must be born by conviction. You hear me? Growing conviction. God can do it. God can do it. God can do it. God can do it. You hear me? The people are chanting for you. They are not stronger than the word. I tell you and I lie not. Are you know what I'm saying now? I tell you and I lie not. The Lord of hosts has proposed and who shall disannul? His hand is stretched out and who shall turn it back? He said, my counsel shall stand. I don't take counsel from them. My counsel shall stand and I will do all of my good pleasure. And it is God's good pleasure that you are healed. It is God's good pleasure that you are delivered. It is God's good pleasure that you come out of shame. It is God's good pleasure that that tears is wiped away. It is God's good pleasure that your story is turned around. It is God's good pleasure that you get up from the floor. So you must believe God. My counsel shall stand and I will do all, not some. Not some. So their wish, nonsense. Their counsel, rubbish. Surely there is an end. And thy expectation shall not. Shall not. They looked unto him and they were lighted. If you trust God, you won't see shame. If you believe God, you won't see shame. So the healing power of God require a platform of faith before the transfer of God's power. There is no barrier in the realm of the spirit for the transfer of God's power. Someone can be refed and healing is taking place in Abuja. Can take place anywhere. Can take place anywhere. Jesus in Luke chapter 13 he said, ought this daughter of Abraham be free whom Satan has bound this many years 18 years and as he prayed for her let's read it Luke chapter 13 from verse 11 from verse 11 and behold there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up. Which means affliction can bow you down. 
Affliction can keep you on the floor. Affliction can limit you. Affliction can place a restriction on you. Affliction can set an embargo on you. Affliction can make someone to be quarantined. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thy infirmity. He didn't even mention Satan. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately, she was made straight and glorified God. Whatever is bent, whatever is crooked, the healing power of God will turn it around. So impartation makes things to be straight. He laid his hand on her. Impartation can change your configuration. Sickness disfigures but impartation reconfigures. That's why every time you come under a word impartation, in the realm of the spirit, things are restructured in your life. Now you may not know the meaning of amen. Now as you are saying amen physically here, something is happening spiritually. Amen. The meaning of amen is so be it Lord. And God is saying, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. So be it, Lord. If you are saying amen, say amen. Don't do as you are afraid. You don't know that saying amen too goes with faith. Some people just say, amen. <laughs> no faith in the amen. But when your amen goes with faith, it goes with an assurance. It goes with conviction. You, you, you have this consciousness that something has taken place. My prayer is that this night something will take place for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So what he did as we read from scriptures, as we read from books, he's still working today. I say still working today. I say still working today. I say still working today. Someone's nightmare is being wiped away. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The healing power of God is swallowing the forces behind that nightmare. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So impartation requires faith to deliver results. What impartation, hand impartation, any kind of impartation requires faith before the results are delivered. Faith. So faith determines the product that anyone must take. If it must be by faith, then it goes by your believing. Lord, I believe. Even when you are surrounded with doubt, Lord, I trust you. I don't trust what is happening. I trust you. Your own is the final. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. I want to let you know, God has the final say. Sickness is not your final say. That pain in your body is not the final say. If you are saying amen, say better amen. But as you believe, you put the works of the wicked to a stop. Every time our faith is teared up, the oppression of the wicked comes to an end. Every time faith is teared up, you are making an end of the works of the wicked. Every time your faith is teared up, you are neutralizing the oppressions of the wicked. Hear me? Let me conclude by saying this. Words transmit spirits. Words transmit spirits. Jesus said, this word that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are what? Life. Words transmit spirits. Words transmit spirits. Every time the word of God is declared, the spirit of God is released. The 
the wind blow it where it listed. You don't know where it's coming from, not that where it's going to. The only thing you are seeing is the effect. So the Spirit of God generates the effect of the Spirit of God. So if I say in the name of Jesus, be healed, you must be healed. Because I'm not saying it my, by my flesh. I'm saying it in the name of Jesus. And he said, what is so ever you desire, when you pray, it shall be done of my father. So as I'm saying it, the sickness is hearing it. As scripture says, as soon as they hear of me, they shall submit themselves. So whatever is afflicting you, I cause their roots in the name of Jesus. Whatever is tormenting you, I judge them in the name of Jesus. Whatever has vowed not to let you go, Every recurring sickness and recurring affliction. Today is their last day. 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 Whatever is not glorifying God in your body. They go by vengeance and by fire in the name of Jesus. Rise up to your feet now. This oil is the healing oil. A double-edged mystery. The oil and the communion. It is written. His fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly, not scarcely or partially, thoroughly, you know, when children bath, you ask them, you bath where? Turn your back. Turn your ear. Thoroughly. Am I correct? <laughs> his fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purge our floor. I'm born. Whatever God has not planted, we born. As this oil come upon you, the healing fire of God we burn everything discomfort in your life. The healing fire of God we burn everything discomfort in your health. You are going to pray Holy Ghost, let your consuming fire burn every chaff. Whatever does not glorify God, by your fire sweep through my body. Burn the chaff of sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever God has not planted, Lord, by your fire, burn every chaff. Lift up your voice and pray. Pray with conviction. By your fire, burn every chaff. Sweep through my spirit. Sweep through my soul. Sweep through my spirit. Burn every chaff. Deposits of affliction. Witchcraft injection, altars, making enchantments against your head. Be consumed by the fire of God. Fire of God. Go as the consumer's fire. Go as the purifier's fire. Holy Ghost, burn every chaff. Burn every chaff. Moving objects in the body. Be consumed by fire. Be swallowed up by fire. Pray from the depth of your spirit. I judge every enchantment. I judge every divination. Be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. Be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. 
Nerush Kahades. Impoto Nekukaliate Kuzeta. Reso Zakle Prebrita. Jesus Abralia. Iroto Nekle Rota. Reshakla Babaresu. Nekuka Lekuta. Ekata Resetolia. Jesus Anekrata. In Rodokoto. Rekatariata. Jesus Ebreketeku. Rekuka Brekekerete. Rekna Rada Usute Kakaka. Reparado Sutalagayash. Reparado Sutalagayash. Resaza Gekrutaka. Enodo Kuta Klekota. Pela Dusatayata. Cause every altar making enchantment against your head. I cause every altar by fire, sponsoring a of affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who this prayer is for now, but we'll have to take it by violence. A prayer for one is a prayer for all. Any witchcraft engine where they are, which they are using to cook your body for sickness, let that witchcraft engine catch fire. Amen. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Any witchcraft engine, every witchcraft cooking pot that they are using to cook your body for affliction, scatter by fire. Any witchcraft engine that they are using to cook your body for affliction, to cook your body for affliction, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft engine they are using to cook your body for disease, they are using to cook your body for affliction, scatter by the fire of the Holy Ghost, scatter by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lift up your voice and pray. Witchcraft engine, witchcraft cooking pot that they are using to cook anybody's body. Be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost, be swallowed up by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Rekatariados, Rekatariados, Nekuka Kreketeriata, Sheko Karate, Enda Dedo Sutata Lekopra, Zekute, La Gagagagareteri Abasha. Lekutari Agada, Eretetego Zunu Tota. In Jesus' name. This prayer is for somebody. Whoever vowed that will not allow me to rest, that every month they will be sponsoring affliction for me, die. So far, not a witch to live. Whoever vowed that they will not allow my body to rest, allow my destiny to rest, sponsoring affliction for me every month, oh God of Oyedeko, let your vengeance slay them. Lift up your voice and pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every stubborn pursuer that vowed they will not allow me to rest, that vowed they will not allow my body to rest, sponsoring affliction for me mostly, I command them to die. I command them to die. Vengeance of God, pick them wherever they are. In the name of Jesus, I command them to die. I command them to die. In the name of Jesus, Whoever vowed they will not allow my body to rest. Sponsoring affliction for me mostly. I prophesy against you. By the vengeance of God. Die. 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 By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. 
Thank you, Jesus. 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 As you partake of this communion, whatever does not represent glory will be flushed out from your body. If you are saying amen, say better amen. By this communion, your health will be rebranded. Your body will be repackaged. No deposit of sickness will be left in your body. Make that amen louder. Anyone here whose health has been eaten up, I decree sound and perfect recovery for you. Every weakness be exchanged with divine strength. That amen is still suffering, Kwashoko. Whatever is eating you up, I command them swallowed up in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. That medical report threatening you is altered. It is altered. Say amen with conviction. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. As this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, whatever comes to oppress you in the night, I execute vengeance against them spiritually. And they will die physically. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever comes to oppress you at night, you can't see the face, you can't see the body. I decree the attacking power of the blood against them now. If they come through dream, let the blood of Jesus attack them spiritually. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Every animal delegated to pursue you in the dream, I kill them spiritually in the name of Jesus. Every attack of snake in your dream, I command them destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every attack of dog in your dream, I command them destroyed in the name of Jesus. So they mark the end of that witchcraft manipulation. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The strong man controlling oppression in your life, I command them buried in the name of Jesus. It is settled for you. Let the speaking blood execute judgment for you. Against every adversary of your life, whatever is attacking your health, be, your well-being, let the vengeance of the blood hit them heavily this night. If you are saying amen, say better amen. It is done for you. Affliction will not rise the second time. I decree by the blood of sprinkling, be delivered from oppression. Be delivered from satanic torments. Be delivered from witchcraft attack. Say amen like a believer. Your days of torment, they are over. Your days of oppression, they are over. The presence of God be announced over your being. Every mark of misfortune that you have suffered till now, by the blood, let it be deleted now. As this blood of sprinkling comes upon you, carry a smell of favor. Carry a smell of favor. Carry a smell of acceptance. Carry a smell of breakthrough. Whoever is connected to your blessing, I command their loins loose for your favor. Every good door God has prepared for you, I command them open for the release of the blessing. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Anyone programmed for untimely deaths, I command let that evil covenant go and catch the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not expire before your time. Whoever wants you to die will die your deaths. They will die your deaths. The evil they have prepared for you, let it go and swallow their own family. It shall be well with you. I say it shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. 
so shall it be. You need health to enjoy wealth. And that's why God will preserve you. I speak turn around for everything concerning you. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Next Sunday is in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeem of the Lord say so.